All right, Laura, this is the white 2016 Audi Q5. A little bit bigger than the Q3. This one is a year older. It has almost 88,000 miles on it. So there is no warranty left on this vehicle. Again, gonna show you the engine here. This one is a, this might be a four cylinder, but I believe they turned it in the engine compartment a little bit differently. I thought it was a six, but I'll, I'll double check that for you. So this one should have more power than the Q3, but also a very quiet engine. All right. And Audi, just like most German cars are known for their design, so they just look sleek, sporty, classy. All right, these have Michelins, a lot of tread left on them. And these are a uh, 18 inch wheel. All right. Again, just got this one back from getting it washed to knock the pollen off of it. The car actually looked yellow a few minutes ago. And we'll get inside here in just a second. Doors look good, paint looks good. Again, the rear compartment on this one. Looks like hardly anyone's ever sat in the back. And you've got your uh, climate controls in the back. Okay. This has a little bit bigger cargo space than the Q3. It also has releases to put the seats down. And that one I'll have to move the driver's seat forward a little bit to release it, to let it go all the way down. Or you can take the headrest off, either way. This one also has the power lift gate. So it'll close automatically. There you go. So if this is a two liter, this means it's a four cylinder vehicle. It also has the panoramic sunroof. All right. Paint looks good. I really don't see much of anything that would uh, make me scratch my head about the paint or the condition of it on, on this vehicle. This is a just a beautiful uh, trim package with the wood grain. Of course, again, power seats, both driver and passenger. There you go. It's a beautiful car. All right, let's get inside. Again, you got your uh, automatic power controls, window, mirrors, door locks, trunk. Your uh, control panel. Again, 80, going on 88,000 miles. Your steering fingertip controls okay there you go again the trim package with the wood very nice okay and again you've got some uh, let's see if I can do this right all right that actually vents the well, I'm having to look around to see what that did. That vented one of the windows, I think. This should get... Oh, there we go. That's the sunshade. 
Looky there. There you go. And I guess, does that turn? Oh my. So this has a variable setting for how far you want the sunroof to open. How about that? A little bit farther. Turn the dial again. Wow, how convenient, huh? Then I guess you can open the sunscreen. Very nice. And we'll get back to the sunroof. Wow. There you go. And I guess when you close it, you just take the dial and spin it all the way back toward the front. And here it comes. Beautiful. One of the perks on this little Q5 Quattro. Very nice. So, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you're looking at. And uh, I'll give you another shot of it. What a gorgeous car. I guess, uh, by definition, it's more of an SUV. But at any rate, I'll get this uh, uploaded to YouTube and out to you as quickly as I can. I'll talk to you soon, Laura. Thanks again for your interest. See ya.